down on the field for the coin toss. We'd like to remind you this game is brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coke taste, zero calorie. Enjoy everything. The kicker's got the ball set up, and we're ready to get this thing started. He sends this one deep. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Well, this offense is going to look to quiet this crowd down. Their big play wide receiver taking the field for the first time. And Williams' talents are about to be on full display. We've been waiting for this, Kirk. And, Brad, as you know, this guy is so talented. He can quiet this crowd all by himself here early on. So I'd expect to see this offense try to look for ways to get him the football and see if he can have some success early to see if he can quiet the crowd by himself. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. Tackle at the 35-yard line. And the short gain is enough for the first. And that tailback definitely has a nose for that first down marker. to the run game and this time he's met immediately from their own 35 yard line second down here's the give excellent open field tackle They'll line up with five wide receivers. He gets hit out of bounds at the 49-yard line. This passing game can be very effective if you don't get enough pressure on the quarterback. They use their personnel well and can be very tough to defend. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 49. play and he'll lose yards so they end up with a loss after calling the draw he started out rushing the passer and then just got lucky and ran right into the running back on the draw he's taken down at the 42 This is the eighth play of this drive. They got to him, and he did not get the first down. And they'll still be a little short of the first down line. Well... They get some positive yards, but this defensive line really busted through and broke that play up. Robertson is the punter. Gets it away. Wait a minute, he's going to throw. And he's tackled at the 44. The defense holds, and the ball will change hands. Quarterback leads the team out on the field for the first drive. And down he goes at the 47 yard line. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. Make the stop at the 46. And he has it on the corner. They'll bring him down around the 43 yard line. That'll make it second and seven.
from the 43 yard line. It's second down. He scrambled. They'll make the sack. He just blew past the blockers and dragged the quarterback down. Boy, excellent play by the defense here. A few extra seconds, and those receivers might have been open. Third down now, and they need to get it down to the 36. Quick toss. Got it. Complete, and he's out of bounds. He made a really good move at the line of scrimmage. Sometimes all you need to do is throw off the defender's timing just a little bit at the start of the play. the sack they get to the quarterback and end that play before it even got started this young man didn't even have a chance to make something happen it's tough to find your receivers when the defense is in your face like that from the 33 yard line second down And he makes it out to about the 31-yard line. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Again with the run. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. They're going to try a long field goal here. Minnesota is looking to go up by three. He gets it up, and it's long enough, and he splits the uprights. That one looked like cake for this kid. Chalk up three points for the offense. Three nothing, Minnesota. They line up to kick this one away. He's to the 20. Gets to about the 27-yard line. Minnesota's in the driver's seat right now, but it's still early, Kirk. Yep, very early in this game, but you got to love the feel for it as far as they're concerned. They came up with a stop, and then they get points, and right now they're out of the game. And while they are behind, they know they can knock things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. Here's an opening. Brought down at about the 35. That's good for so it's second down and about two yards to go. Caught, and this is going to be a first down. And he's tackled at the 42-yard line. That makes it first and ten. Tackle at the 44-yard line. Second down and nine to go. Ball on their own 44. He's got an opening. Gets out to around the 38. First down. Nice play fake. Here's a quick throw. Pulls it in, and he's in the open field. And he will score. And 
he hits the PAT. A five play 72 yard drive and they put up seven points. Brad I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance mixing the play calling with the run in the pass. Just an overall well executed touchdown drive. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. You never like to have to play from behind but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. He gets rid of this one. Second and ten. Ball on the 25 yard line. And he makes it out to about the 27 yard line. They come out in a five wide set. Rifles at right. Almost picked off. It can be tough making a play on the ball sometimes, but that's probably a pick he should have made. That makes it more than any. Williams fields it at the 34, and down he goes, the 39-yard line. Brad, let's see if this offense can maintain the rhythm that they established on that last drive. Not just putting points on the board, but driving the length of the field to be able to eventually put points up. I think that's going to be important for them to try to keep that confidence going here on this drive. Under heavy pressure. Throws it and oh, he dropped it. That was a nice play. Anything you can do without being penalized to prevent the offense from moving forward is always a plus. From their own 39-yard line. It's second down. Illinois is up four. He's pushed out of bounds at the 46-yard line. Tackle made around the 46-yard line. From the 46-yard line, first down. And he is drilled at the 48-yard line. So the sack makes this a second and long. Throws quick to the receiver and it falls incomplete. Under pressure, and he's sacked. Coaches don't like it when their quarterback gets hit like that. Don't be surprised to see the old coach get on his lineman to protect the quarterback a little bit better. The sack makes this a fourth and very long. Robertson awaits the snap. Fielded at the 19. He's taken down at the 23-yard line. Illinois has got people flying all over the field on defense right now. Boy, they sure do. Right now, we're just seeing great defensive effort. They have a plan. They understand it. They're playing with great speed, and they're not giving up big plays. That's why they're playing well up to this point. And while they are behind, they know they can knot things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. their own 23-yard line. Second down. Go 
He steps out at the 27 yard line. They're going to be forced to punt it away here. The offense really had nowhere to go on that one. The play was very well defended, and now the incompletion will force the fourth down and a punt. Crawford is waiting for the snap. Williams fields it at the 34. He wasn't breaking that tackle. What a hit. And here we go with the offense ready to get things going again. Illinois holds a four-point lead. He gets out to about the 42-yard line. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 42. Nice run there. Tailback picked up seven on the draw. So at the end of one quarter, Illinois leads 7-3. We can only hope the second quarter is as good as the first. Tight ball game, folks. Got the corner. And he's taken down at the 43-yard line. That's a gain of eight on the play. That makes it first and ten. From the 43-yard line, it's first down. They'll bring him down for a loss on the play. It's a great play by the defense, but it really makes you wonder, was there a miscommunication up front by the offensive line? They just seemed to allow the defensive line to get through, and the running back didn't have much of a chance at all. to about the 47 yard line maybe a yard on the run by the tailback third down now they need to get it down to the 33 Illinois is up by four fires it out wow a long game but still not enough for the first well, the offense hurt themselves by digging themselves into a hole on first and second down so the defense didn't really have to put too much thought in how to defend on that third down this punt if he gets it where he wants it can really change the field position in this football game booming kick and it goes into the end zone down for a touchback there hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams in games like this, some players try to press too much, and that can cause mistakes. A yard, maybe two on the carry. From their own 22-yard line, second down. Taylor takes the give. Makes it out to about the 30. Nice job by the running back, and that'll get him seven, maybe eight yards. Fires out to his receiver. He's taken down at the 36-yard line. That is just sound, fundamental football right there, making it look so easy. From their own 36-yard line, first down. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. Tackle around the 36-yard line. And 
And so it's another third down upcoming here. Five wide. Steps out of bounds at the 40-yard line. He gets out to about the 28-yard line. With one quarter down, I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads. Might be neck and neck the whole way. Illinois is up four. They'll work the left side with a counter play. And they make the stop around the 37-yard line. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. Throws it out, and it goes nowhere. Well, you think about receivers coming over the middle taking shots from the safety, but a runner who's still in the backfield? This guy just flies all over the field. The big man here isn't used to making catches as a defensive lineman. But I'll tell you, he was still pretty athletic just to get his hands on it. Robertson is the punter. And this one is a beauty. He's out to the 30. Tackle at the 33-yard line. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Fires out quick. It's picked off. Inside the 30. And down he goes around the 25-yard line. He just jumped up and snatched that ball. Well, there, I don't think the quarterback even saw him. The defender went up into the air and made a great catch. We talked about this sophomore before the game, and he sure can play, I'll tell you that. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 25. Illinois holds a four-point lead. He gets out to about the 22-yard line. Makes it out to about the 21-yard line. Third down, and they need to get it to the 15. Out of bounds around the 17-yard line. Got to be careful of a pass play with this defense. They'll bring him down at the 14-yard line. Number 45 makes the set call at the 14-yard line. First down. First and 10. Ball on the 14. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. That makes it second and six. Pressure coming. Quick strike to the back, no good. I mean, he has his wide receiver wide open. You spend all those hours during the week to be able to get prepped and ready to go. You got an open man like this, just step and deliver and make the throw. Illinois is up by four. Zips it to the tight end. 
And he's tackled at the 11-yard line. They're going to go for the easy three here. He gets it up, and they tack on three points. Griffin has the ball all teed up, and he's ready to kick this one off. He's to the 20. Tackle made at the 27. Can this defense play any better? I mean, these guys have a great tradition. They live up to the billing today. Now we're starting to see whether or not this team can get it done. And if they are, then I think the defense should go down to the offensive side of the field, talk to their own offense, and try to get them fired up to go out there and get some more points on the field. And they're going to put six DBs on the field to counter that five-receiver look. And he's tackled after positive yardage. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. He's tackled around the 34-yard line. down, 10 to go. Ball on their own 42. Tackle made around the 41-yard line. From the 41 yard line. First down. Gets it out in a hurry. That's incomplete. That's a miscommunication between a quarterback and a wide receiver right there. They need to get their signals straight. That makes it second and ten. Gets out to about the 38-yard line. And this is the eighth play of the drive. He's going right. And it's incomplete. I know that this quarterback and wide receiver were very confident they'd be able to execute this play. They worked all week long in practice on this play. The problem is the wide receiver got too close to the boundary, just didn't give himself or the quarterback's throw much of a chance to make the reception. There's a strike complete, and he's taken down at the 35-yard line. Huge play for the defense. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Illinois is up a score. Throws complete, he's got space to work. What impresses me so much is the guy's vision. He read the coverage perfectly to find his man for good yardage. Short yardage situation here, it's second down and one. Taken down at the 42 yard line. That's a team 14 yards on the play. First down. And they get nice yardage on that run. 
Illinois is going to have to use their second time out of the half. From the 38-yard line, it's second down. He's scrambling. And he hits him hard at the 33. Makes the catch and gets out of bounds. From the 13 yard line, it's first down. One left, and he's taken down in the backfield. Illinois, up seven points. He's going to try and scramble. The 10. Tackle at about the three-yard line. Here they come. Keeps it, and he's got a touchdown. So the quarterback decided to improvise and took it in for the touchdown. This is why this guy is such a special player. This is what makes the offense even more difficult to stop. When a quarterback can take it himself and run, that's just one more weapon the defense has to account for. And he converts the extra point. So we played two quarters. The Fighting Illini lead 17-3. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. Neither ground game very productive in that first half, David, and I really think it came down to each player on the defensive side executing their assignments and trying to get the positive self-determination they wanted from a defense. No doubt about it. And you look at the defense is doing such a great job stopping the run. That's the first thing that you do 99% of the time in meetings is what are we going to do first? Stop the run. Because that's usually the place where you can get gashed the most. It's the simplest. Quarterbacks don't have to go back and make reads. It's designed. You know what they're going to do. But it also comes down to the big boys up front and those big boys making holes. And right now, I don't see many holes. And I don't care if you have Barry Sanders. I don't care if you have the best running back of all time, whoever it is in your backfield. If there's not a hole, there's no yards to be made. There's nothing they can do. So the defensive line doing a great job stuffing the run. David's ready to get back on that couch, get the remote, get all the games dialed up to watch what's going on around the country. Time to get you back for your second half. Brad and Kirk, ready to roll. All right, Reese and David, thanks, guys. Second half action just about ready to start here. He really got a hold of that kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Illinois' coaching staff will go out tonight, and I think the offensive coordinator should buy the defensive coordinator his meal. Well, the defense has been great. There's no doubt about it. But I just think that the offense that they're facing, they've just been so conservative, so predictable. It's made it very easy for this defense to have a dominant game. Wide receiver screenplay, and they make the stop around the 33-yard line. So it's second down and about two yards to go. Gains his way to the 43-yard line. He 
He gets hit out of bounds at the 49-yard line. They're about four yards away here on second down. Empty backfield, quarterback in the gun. Five wide receivers. Here's the screen to the wideout. And down he goes around the 47-yard line. And he makes it out to about the 44-yard line. From the 44-yard line, first down. Jackson gets a carry left side. Nice run, and he's brought down. Man, did he play that perfectly or what? As a linebacker, you have to be able to read the offense and make a quick diagnosis, which is exactly what he did on that play. And this play is number eight on the drive. They come out in a five-wide set. And he's going to be sacked. This quarterback has to do a better job of avoiding the rush because sacks can be real drive killers. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. So now both teams come trotting back out onto the field. They go to the back, and he's hit immediately in the backfield. from their own 17-yard line. Second down. Fires out to his receiver. They'll bring him down at about the 23-yard line. That makes it third and seven. and taken down immediately. There's nothing better for a defense's mindset than to get a three and out. I mean, a turnover, of course, is a positive play, and a coach will take that any day of the week. But to know you've stopped the best their offense has to offer for three straight plays, that's a confidence builder. He makes it out to maybe the 39-yard line. Williams' drive in this game has been sensational. He's just having an outstanding day. Yeah, he's just one of those guys who's just a total, total uh, package as a wide receiver. He can catch the ball. He can make you pay for it in space. And they've done a good job of finding ways to get him the football. A quarterback in the gun with five receivers. He makes his way to about the 48. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. Up the middle for a nice game. Makes his way to about the 38. That brings up second and one. Short yardage situation here. It's second down and one. And they hit him in the backfield. Well, the question now is how will they respond after losing a couple on that run? Go 
Going right to his tailback. And they got to him before he could get back to the line. Loss of two. They really just didn't have any room to work on that play. The defense just suffocated him there. Crawford is waiting for the snap. Gets it away. Wait a minute, he's going to throw. And down he goes at the 45. The offense couldn't convert, and that's going to cost him the possession. Not a lot of success for this offense on their last trip out. Gives it left side. He gets it out to about the 47-yard line. That makes it second and two. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. Tackled after a decent run up the gut. Call it a gain of seven yards. First down. Hey, check my 25. Check my 25. Play action here. He's going to scramble. They'll make the sack. So it'll be second and 14 after the setback. Zips it to the tailback incomplete. tailback but he can't bring it in Robertson is the putter sometimes it's not the huge distance but precision that you need from your punter nicely done there's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now they don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. And he's tackled around the eight-yard line. So he decides to hold on to it, and it goes nowhere. They line up at the eight. It's second down. And he throws right away. Finds the junior. He's tackled at the 47-yard line. Here's a great example of what this man is capable of. As receivers go, he's as electric as they come. It's first down and 10 now after picking up some great yardage through the air. First down, and he's knocked out. Fires it out. There's a very impressive open field tackle. Around an eight-yard pickup on the slant route from the quarterback. It's second down, two to go. Ball on the 31-yard line. And he carries the ball for a nice game. Here's an opening. Brought 
down around the 17 yard line. From the 17 yard line, first down. Get to that quickly. There's very good chemistry between these two. They like to run through all their routes before the game. And I have to say, they look sharp before this one even started. This is the eighth play of this drive. They line up in the jumbo set. He's got the corner. Nice gain as he works to the right side. That's a good play for you four yards. That brings him second and goal. Second down and goal. About a yard to Pater. And he adds the extra point. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He'll return it from the four-yard line. He makes it out maybe to the 26-yard line. Illinois' offense was rolling along earlier, and now they have gone ice cold in the third quarter. Brad, they almost look like a different team. It's like they've come out of the locker room a little bit flat here in the second half. We'll see if they can have something happen, something to spark them and maybe get their mojo going before they end up losing this ball game. Illinois is up seven. Maybe a yard on the run by the tailback. From their own 26-yard line. Second down. Play action. Quick strike to the receiver. Tackle made at the 46. That makes it first and 10. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 46. And he's taken down at the 49. So at the end of the third quarter, Illinois leads 17-10. Into the fourth quarter now, and we're back to the action. He's out of bounds right around the 42-yard line. <laughs> Illinois is up by a touchdown. This punt goes over the goal line, and this will be a touchback. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. And he's tackled after positive yardage. From their own 24-yard line, it's second down.
makes his way to about the 32. So he keeps it, and he gets a big first down. The quarterback made a very good decision here not to pitch. He saw a break in the defense and just hit it for a big game. Taken down at about the 39-yard line. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. Feeds it to the back. Nice run to the outside. the 42. He looked pretty cool back there. Even with the outside linebacker blitzing, he made an accurate throw, and the result is a new set of downs. From the 42-yard line, it's first down. Here's the halfback. He's knocked out of bounds at about the 35. The defense has got some of their best pass defenders on the field. They set up in the dime to counter that five wide receiver set. He gets to about the 24 yard line. Here's the eighth play of the series. The ball carrier. Nice run there. It's second and six. Ball on the 20-yard line. They bring him down. A defensive end with this kind of speed is an offense's worst nightmare. He's got the ability to collapse the pocket on any given pass play. And as a play caller, you constantly have to be aware of it. Whether you're going to roll away from him or you're going to chip with a tight end or a running back, you're constantly concerned and aware of a big, strong defensive end. Here's play number 10 on the drive. Dumps it complete over the middle. He's tackled in the open field. That's a gain of two on the play. They'll call on the field goal unit here for this long field goal attempt. The kick is away. It's long enough. And he splits the uprights. Looks like they're ready for the kick. It's fielded at the two. He's to the 20. They'll bring him down at the 25-yard line. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. Illinois is up four. And they make the stop at the 25. Second down and nine to go. Ball on their own 25. Got it. And he goes down quickly. Good for a gain of six yards. That'll bring up third and four. goes right around the 28 yard line i think the corner is the toughest position to play in football you have to be athletic enough to be able to run with wide receivers and willing to be able to come up and make plays like this to be able to stop the run this is a big time play by a corner showing the versatility to be able to come up and be physical in the run game 
These special teams have done it before, blocking punts. It looks like they're coming after this one. Tackle at the 38. You know what? It might not have been a lot, but they moved the ball forward. Football's not a game won 100 yards at a time. You take what you can get. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. They spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. They go with a run. He tackles him for a loss. Anytime a running back gets one-on-one -on -one with a safety, I think that running back has the confidence in his own athletic ability to be able to make that safety miss and, and get upfield for some yards. That time, the safety just dominated him, made a great tackle in the backfield for a short loss. From their own 37-yard line, second down. Taylor gets seven yards on the play. it out to maybe the 46-yard line. Looks like they're going to go for it on fourth down. They come out in a five-wide set. They'll bring him down around the 43-yard line. Huge play for the defense. This time the offense isn't successful on fourth down. The defense had that option play snuffed out from the get-go. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. Illinois holds a four-point lead. Handoff inside, and he's quickly brought down. Picked up a yard of anything on that run. Second and ten. Ball on the 43. Hits him hard at the 34-yard line. Henderson's on the tackle at the 34-yard line. That'll make it 31. Throw picked off. That interception breathes new life into this team. I'm not quite sure I would have made that pass. It obviously wasn't open. This quarterback's got to be more conservative with the ball when they have the lead late in the game like this. First and ten. Ball on the 36-yard line. They come out on an empty backfield. Slides down. Just over two minutes in the game. He throws a dart to the left tipped away. Surprising to me that the secondary was in such good position. I thought the play call had him fooled at first, but a nice play by the D. Now it's third and six coming up. Ball on their own 40. The Cavalry's coming. Aaron and out long. Incomplete. Almost picked off. Williams, the return man. Williams takes it at the 21, and he's tackled at the 27. Decent effort. He's not the type of guy to call a fair catch very often. 
He does have the ability to make guys miss. Well, let's see if he can shake off that pick that he tossed last time out. So much in football is about how you respond to adversity. Moving forward after a turnover is a perfect example of that. That is exactly the type of play that good linebackers make on a regular basis. And if you can make enough of them in college, probably going to get a chance to play at the next level. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. The Golden Gophers use their second timeout. Third and five. Ball on the 32. Fires out to his wideout. And he's tackled at the 37. Golden Gophers using their third and last timeout. Robertson awaits the snap. He's out to the 30. And he's taken down at the 31. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. Just under two to go in the game. Throws quick to the receiver and it falls incomplete. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 31-yard line. The 10, and it's a whole new ball game. Late in the fourth quarter, one possession game, and this is where poise really takes over. Whoever shows it will win the football game. Trying to go up by three, they'll kick the extra point. And he adds the extra point. A quick two-play, 69-yard drive, and they get it in for seven. So our score, 20 to 17. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Sends it sailing downfield. He's to the 20, and down he goes at the 27-yard line. Williams is a guy that doesn't mind the fact that the pressure's on him right now. He kind of thrives on it. I think he's got so much confidence. It doesn't matter how many defenders that they might put up against him. He still thinks he can make the play, whether he goes up and over them, or he can go around them, or run by them. He has that kind of confidence, and this quarterback's got to find a way to get him the football. Throws, and it's incomplete. From their own 27-yard line, second down. Just over a minute left. Quick strike to the receiver, and he's taken down at about the 43-yard line. He's scrambling, and he's going to be sacked for a loss. He just blew past the blockers and dragged the quarterback down. Boy, excellent play by the defense here. A few extra seconds, and those receivers might have been open. Inside the 47. Five wide. He's under pressure. He's tackled at the 47. Illinois is going to use their first time out of the half here. Six yard line. That was a really nice play on the ball by the receiver for a substantial gain and a first down. From the 36 yard line, first down. They'll spread the field with five wide. 
He's got the corner. Decides to slide. And he stops the clock with a spike. It's the ninth play of the drive. Zips it to the back, and he is drilled at the 22-yard line. Easy, easy, easy. Lucky 95. Lucky 95. Black 98. Picked off, and that's going to wrap this one up. He steps up and makes a big turnover. Yeah, he just made a huge play right there. He knew what was coming all along. Minnesota is up a field goal. Favorite play in football of your quarterback. Take a knee. Illinois will use their final timeout. And now he's got room to run. Makes it to the 27. And so that's going to do it. The Golden Gophers with the victory, 20 to 17. Thanks for joining us for another game of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk and everyone here at EA Sports, Brad Nussler saying goodbye, and we'll see you next time.